Never lose, never choose to do <laughs> Never lose, never lose, never lose, never lose, never lose, never lose, never choose to Bruce Cruz who never lose, never choose to Bruce Cruz who never lose, never choose to Bruce Cruz who never lose, never lose, never lose, never lose, never lose, never choose to Bruce Cruz who never lose, never choose to Bruce Cruz who never lose, never choose to Bruce Cruz who never lose, never lose, never lose. You see, I'm fresh off that hen out here, and I'm ready to get it in out here. You see how I'm bouncing out here, little bitch? I'm fresh off that hen out here. I'm sad. Boy, you think you can mess with the drunken master? Boy, see, look, the problem is you gotta get your chi up. Get your chi up, you heard? Senchai was no joke. I have a few bars to spit. At least. It was an honor to get Chris. Check out this slam. I mean... Damn. Yo. Check this out. Jack Johnson was the first black champ to crease something. He received a lot of threats for laying boxes flat like he did. He came up in the Jim Crow era, but he still punished opponents. With racism at its highest, he was the boldest man walking at the time. You can catch him here doing the OG shuffle. He ain't no joke his knuckles was harder than crowbar. Yo! Peek this out. The greatest of all times was a true entertainer. I bet you've seen this part before but check this. He gave Keanu Reeves Nem the idea for the Matrix. He didn't invent the OG shuffle like Jack Johnson did. But he had different moves, including the Ollie shuffle. That move you just saw I call it the Biscuit Buster. He gave him a Nugi. Follow your boy. Yo! I couldn't help myself with this one. Check out Ollie fighting this wrestler. He tried to push the greatest of all times kneecaps back. It looks like he's trying to build up his core. But the champ hit him with a different type of rope a dope. The ref almost got a size 12 and a half stuck in his ass. Whoa. Let's run it back. Floyd Mayweather tied his jaw properly. This is the true definition of punch drunk. The T Kate sign laid him smoothly. Too many beers. Yo. Time for another creasing. Super Zab Judah punches was faster than crackhead speed. He must have had a little Vaseline on his glove or something. This uppercut made him turn to that T Kate beer. This jaw tapping disturbed his ankle balance. He missed by a mile. Whoa. Let's talk about it. Super Judah got up to fast after his creasing. Kostatsu made him do the YNO shuffle. Zab felt like he wasn't given a chance to redeem himself. He told the ref he was good but he stopped the fight anyway. All hell broke loose and Zab almost creased the ref. He wanted the ref to know it was real in the field his bow tie was covered with buffalo leather. Pick yourself up. You don't know when your victory gonna come. You gotta keep fighting. The Battle Assassin artwork was designed as a reminder to give your all in whatever it is you do to kill any negativity that's hindering you from life more abundantly. Life is a battle. We're all fighting to live. So fight the good fight and your victory will come like a thief in the night. So stay blessed.